Should I say it? I'm gonna say it. Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it! My name's Noah, and welcome to the first episode of the reboot series of Building Bikini Bottom! We are starting from scratch. A whole new blank slate for as many Bikini Bottom um, SpongeBob SquarePants buildings as we can possibly make in Minecraft. And this series is gonna be different. No more time lapses. Time lapses are dumb and they don't really help you with figuring out how you yourselves can build the building. So, what I'm gonna do is um, take you guys on the journey with me. And in this episode, we are going to be building SpongeBob's house. I don't exactly know how to build SpongeBob's house very well in Minecraft, so I'm just gonna try and learn as I go and through references that I find online and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. So let's not beat around the bush and get started. So all I know is that it'd be important to do like this for door, door. Perfect. Give it some roundness. Now the door is round. So SpongeBob's house is round in a weird way. So it's going to be very complicated to build it in Minecraft. What I've seen other people do in Minecraft is build big circles and then like circles around those circles and that gets sort of the formation of the depth of the house and like the shape and everything that doesn't look like the worst thing ever right this thing has to be kind of tall i think Ugh. my whole problem is that i make things too short yeah this still needs work maybe like that uh, it's too square the whole thing with minecraft is like there's a way to make blocks look rounder and it's like it's hard but it's doable you know i'm just gonna add the roundness behind the thing like this i want to see if this improves the design in any way uh it's something it did something i think maybe once i add other details to the house maybe it'll look better but for now i'm just going to assume that i'm on the right track so now he's gotten to a point where it... mm -hmm. all right it's looking a bit better, I think. I'm wondering how I'm going to manage making it round all the way around, like like having it actually be a 3D shape. Because right now, it's... Mm, I'm not sure how I'm going to make this into something like... I don't know. We'll see. I think what I'm going to do this time is take some corners off so it can indicate that it's getting further into like the side of the building. Yeah, that works. I'm hoping this is easy to like follow along with. I'm also hoping I give like enough places for you to pause in the video so you can copy off of this or like take your own inspiration and stuff. Exact copying my builds is not exactly recommended, but if you just want to make SpongeBob's house in your world, then I guess it's fine. But yeah, I'd also encourage that you give your own creative liberties to the piece. Make it how you believe SpongeBob's house is supposed to look. Because right now, <sighs> this is looking kind of weird. I think I'm getting somewhere with this. My little brain is hatching up some form of a design. Like, it's not looking the best, but it's also kind of taking form, which is nice. My whole thing with this series and why it took me so long to, like, do it again is because I wasn't sure how I wanted to execute the series. At first, I was planning on making a full-on sort of tutorial kind of stuff. For every single episode, just make a high-quality tutorial kind of thing. But then I realized I'm not that smart, and I don't know how to build these things very well. I just sort of go off the cuff, like, off of my own instincts. I can't really make a plan or, like, tell people my plan for something before I make it. You know, it's nicer just having fun and chilling out and making this stuff. I prefer making videos about thinking through things than explaining things. I think that's a lot more interesting. I think now all I have to do is just recreate what I've done on this side and then put it on this side. So, can't be too hard, right? Just take this as a reference? Yeah, I, I can totally do this. What have I done wrong? I think there's something I did wrong. I'm confused. Egg. Hmm. I'm actually starting to like this a little bit. It's kind of plump. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix how plump this is. What the heck? I think what I might have to do is just take this out entirely. 
Because all it's doing is causing trouble. It's too big. Too wide. I'm starting to feel like this side would be more better as the front of the building. This is something I can do, right? This is something I can change. I don't actually have any direction that this building needs to go in so far. So, I mean, it's not impossible. I think I hear music outside. I think someone's having like a party outside my house. That's just, that's, that's incredible. Is it rave music? Like, are they having an outside rave? I don't know what's going on. Do you guys hear it? Like, it's really quiet, but it's also... I feel the bass of it. Okay, now the music is starting to become a bit more audible. I don't know what to do now. I'm hoping it isn't that noticeable in the video. That's all I really can hope for at this point. But, we are almost done with the main shape of Spongebob's house. So I think I'm kind of done with the main body of Spongebob's house, but at the same time I'm not. Because look at this. Look at- this is an oval. I don't know why it became an oval, but I don't want it to stay an oval. I really am gonna have to get rid of these sides, aren't I? No matter how good they look, they are causing problems for the entire building. This is gonna look bad, but I- I'm just gonna fill this in for now. It's all I can do. Uh, actually, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, maybe I should just make it match this side a bit better. Can't be that hard to. I'm getting more and more tempted to make this side the front. Wow. Okay, now it's slowly but surely starting to look slightly less like an oval. That's all I really ever wanted. Okay, so apparently the music that was going on that I thought was outside, I think it was just my grandpa blasting some sort of rap music? I don't understand. I don't know. But what I do understand is that the body of this building is basically done. All I have to do is the roof and the leaves and uh, some other details. It won't be much longer now. So how do I do this? I'm assuming I just do circle. Some big, thick circle. That'll take the building at least a little bit higher, I think. And then I'll be ready for the leaves on top. So now, for the final layer, do that, 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 that. I'm gonna stop saying that before it gets annoying. And then this, and then this, and then this, this, this. Uh, sure, yeah, good. It'll look better with the leaves on top. But now the whole thing is, uh, what should I make the leaves out of? Those look like pretty natural leaf colors, so all right. Yeah, this is gonna be solid. I sort of just have to go a bit everywhere with these leaves. Just keep placing blocks until you get high enough, that kind of thing. Just a lot of controlled chaos with these crazy looking giant leaves. Apparently my friend Kevin Rogbone is having a birthday soon, so leave a happy birthday Kevin Rogbone in the comments section, please. You see, leaving that comment shows me how good of a fan you are. It shows me if you watch uh, all the way through my videos, and it shows me if you are willing to comment for my friend. Okay, now I'm not sure if the lime is good at all. Hmm, Noah don't like you. Hmm, this is starting to get somewhere. Not sure if it's the exact place I want it to be, but it's a place. Something feels wrong here. I'm not sure what it is, though. I really am just placing blocks everywhere at this point. It's, there's no order to anything I'm doing. I feel like that's ruining certain parts of it. I gotta block up all these holes and... Well, I think, yeah, I think it's settled. Boom, 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 and boom. This is the new side, this is the new front of the house. So that's like the most base level, completely undetailed 
version of the house completely done. Now we gotta add the details. What should we start off? We should start off with the windows. I'm going to experiment with a couple different building materials. Because at this current moment, I'm not exactly sure what I should be using for this. So we know Spongebob has a window about here, right? That already doesn't look very good, hmm. That's a little bit more solid. I have some other ideas though. What I might do instead, get like right in there, get right in there as well. Then I'm gonna get some stairs. It's a little odd, hmm. I can fix this, like that. Oh, that, that, okay. That's um some kind of optical illusion crap right there, wow. And then I'm gonna do that in a more simpler way with this thing. And then do that, and do that. And then we got ourselves a couple of windows, great. They're a little small, but you gotta take at least a couple creative liberties when you're recreating something in a very simplistic looking game. Now, of course, there's also that sort of chimney thing that comes out of Spongebob's house. That's kind of like it. Um, I'm gonna do something else. Hold on. Goes into that like that. Is that better? Or is that worse? Hmm. Do that. That? How about that? Not everything can be perfect on the first go. Uh, I just gotta keep reminding myself that. Uh... What do I do to make this look good? Does that look good? Does that, is that, oh, mm, is, maybe if I like, maybe, maybe, slight possibility of maybe like, I like that. I think I like that. I think I might, maybe might like possibly maybe like that. Okay. Of course, because SpongeBob's house is a pineapple, it's covered in like a ton of lines. Because that's what pineapples do. They just have a lot of lines and grids and stuff. So we have to do that, I guess. So what we have to do is, like... Just keep going down, I guess. Do something silly like that. And I think it works. Should I be using a different material for this? I, there's something wrong here. These colors feels like the weird orange and then the completely pitch black. I'm gonna see if it helps anything when it's completely done, but for now, I'm not sure if this is gonna look the best. Alright, this is starting to get somewhere. I don't know if it's somewhere I like or somewhere I dislike. For now, it's... It's just somewhere. Okay, so, hmm, something's off here. I might have to use dark orange instead of black. I feel like then it wouldn't pop out as much as it's doing right now. What on earth? What on earth? Why? Why? How? Please, oh man, I'm gonna have to kill you now. <laughs> yeah, huh? indeed, die. You have no purpose here right now. I feel like no matter what I do, this is gonna be a mess. This is a very tedious process. I keep missing tiny blocks and I don't know where they are okay I think that's it I think we're done oh my I need to add some buttons in the centers of all these great okay I think we're good like as far as I'm concerned I might add a couple other windows out of video, but the exterior, at the very least, of Spongebob's house is completely done. And I think that looks honestly alright.
like I said, I might change some stuff out of video. And of course, um, the inside of the building I'll be making in the next episode. But yeah, for now, I'm actually pretty satisfied. So with that, I guess I'll end the video off. Thanks for joining me on this first episode of Building Bikini Bottom, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day, see ya, bye.